Well, church family, I am broadcasting to you from my oldest daughter's bedroom because of a very unusual sequence of events. So I'm surrounded by various stuffed animals, which are keeping me company, and I need that company these days. Uh, but more importantly, I'm here with Pastor Ugo, uh, who has been to City Church a couple of times. He preached here uh, once before. And then his, his wife um, actually translated for Pastor Abdi a couple of months ago when he <clears throat> spoke at City Church. Um, thank you, Ugo, for being on this call. He is uh, going to give us a couple of updates. And so would you uh, be willing to start just by kind of reminding everybody what your role is with our denomination and then kind of update us on how uh, the churches you're aware of are doing right now? Thank you, Pastor Ann. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, we love uh, you and we remember all the time. Yeah, and I'm, I'm the Spanish director for our district. That means I oversee uh, anything need to do with uh, the Spanish churches or ministry or outreach, um, training, uh, new church planting. This is a uh, my role in the district. I oversee nine states, uh, also Puerto Rico, but also the ministry uh, is uh, helping people in another country like uh, uh, Venezuela. And how the the churches that you're uh, doing ministry with how are how are they doing? Uh, how well? First of all, how are you doing personally? How are you and your family doing? And then how are those churches doing? Yeah, we're okay. We're okay, and 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 home. We try to go out the less possible, <laughs> only to buy some grocery or something like that. And yeah, my kids, my wife, uh, Gisela, and I, we we're okay at home. Um, with a lot of meeting, more than before. <laughs> uh using soon or facebook anything we can we can do it and thank you guys have some my wife and some kid my kid they help me to use my iphone or my ipad <laughs> excellent and how how are the churches doing how are pastors doing that you know of yeah we we have different um uh, uh report about it because uh like we have a, a church here in uh, in Florida, who is a pastor, um, Ricky Pacheco. He's a Puerto Rican uh, who have this uh, Spanish church in Melbourne, Florida, and he's he's amazing. He is uh, very gifted with his wife and daughter in music. For that, they they add another service. They have a week three service right now in Spanish, if they, they have before maybe close to a thousand people follow them in, in Facebook. Right now they have 3,000 people follow them. <laughs> if, because wow. they are connecting, serving in American church, they are more uh, in peace about that, the financial way and everything. Is, uh, they are okay. But another way, I have uh, another ministry in uh, in Atlanta, and Tito, um, Tito Ruiz, uh, he is amazing. God. He 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 is uh, continue to reach the own community. They start a a, a ministry uh, giving food for thirty family, but right now it's more than five hundred family. With they put together many churches, but what happened? Uh, he he is traveling right now because uh, eighty five percent of this uh, his uh, income in the church is go down. For that we have d different history. People try to serve God, but it's, it's yeah, it's a little hard. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I would love for our, our church to be thinking about what it means to be partnering with uh, churches like his um, financially and otherwise. Appreciate that report um, and encouraging what's going on in Melbourne too. Um, yeah. 
the pastor and his family and the, the number of people they're reaching. Uh, what do you know about things in Venezuela? We have, our church has been coming alongside Pastor Abdi, who's uh, the president of basically the Association of Free Churches in Venezuela. Pastor Abdi preached at City Church back in February. Uh, how is he doing? How is his family doing? Um, how is Venezuela doing right now? Do you know it's, it's not easy to know the truth because the government, they know, give uh, information to the public. But also when you talk with people like Adi Pereira, the pastor, it's, he's all the time he have a lot of uh, hope about what is going on. Uh, they, they continue to go out to serving in the city they try to they have more than 120 pastors to to pastoring he he's a president of this denomination our our family but um what happened right now for many years venezuela was one of the more poor country in latin america and the world but right now with this uh covid 19 is the crisis is coming uh I can't imagine what is going on because a lot of Venezuela is coming back to Venezuela because Colombia, like Colombia, is everything is uh, closed. They don't have no job. They don't have no, no have a help to receive food. For that, they start to coming back to Venezuela. And some pastors in the border in Venezuela say, "We love our people, but we don't know if they coming with a, a virus." Uh, to our country, but for that uh, they need a lot of prayer, and we want to try to coordinate some help, thinking more in the pastor and the family pastor because they are very active to try to reach the community, even as it's not easy to go out, but they try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Abdi is continuing to go out and reach people, even though it's unclear what the situation yeah. is with COVID. And on top of that, you have some Venezuelans that went to Colombia that are now uh, coming back because they don't have any opportunities in Colombia. And so now they're in Venezuela. And so that means there's difficulties in figuring out, do they have the virus? And then where are they yeah. gonna live? And what are they gonna do, okay? It's not a couple of families, thousands of people right. coming back right. to Venezuela. Yeah. Yeah. So I will, um, I'm going to um, continue to be in contact, of course, with you, Pastor Ugo, to Thank follow you. what's going on and what opportunities we might have, again, as a church to partner uh, with any of this. And then we're going to pray for you um, after the video. Our congregation is going to spend time praying for you. Um, and uh, praying for Pastor Abdi and his family. So he's, we love you guys a lot and we, we care. We love you too. Thank so, you. Thank you. Appreciate it.